So this is about detecting earthquakes and we know that both earthquakes and tsunamis are both caused by seismic waves and we have machines which can measure those seismic waves called seismometers. Now if I've got three different seismometers in different places I can actually use them to work out where the earthquake originated and where the epicenter above it was. Um, and that process by using three different seismometers is called triangulation. In this example we have three seismometers and they're positioned at stations L, M and N. And we've got three seismographs which we can look at and compare. What do we see? Well, we see that the P wave always arrives before the S wave and that's simply because P waves are faster than S waves. We can also see that station L is closer to the epicenter than station N because the P wave gets to station L before it gets to station N. We can also measure the time difference between the arrival of the P wave and the S wave and this difference is shown by the red arrows on the diagram. Lastly, and this is the most complicated point, the difference in time between the S wave and the P wave, that difference is shown by the red line, is proportional to how far the seismometer is from the epicenter and that's shown by the green line.